The worst thing about parental alienation is that the biggest victim in this is the child or the children involved. Children need to be put first, and with a narcissist, this is never a guarantee. Because the narcissistic parent will devalue and demean the targeted parent either directly to the child or within ear, earshot of the child so that they hear it. And since narcissists have no empathy, even for the children, they don't care that this child is, when they're hearing that that other parent who is a part of them, who they are a part of, is a terrible person and is bad in some way, that child can start to feel like there is a part of them that is bad. There is a part of them that there's something not okay about because they came from both parents. Personally, um, my narcissistic ex-husband talked terribly um, about his child's mother um, to me, to anyone who would listen, and even to his child. However, depending on who he was talking to, he would say to others that you shouldn't talk bad about the other parent. I also noticed that when he was pleased with his son, he took all the credit for it. But when he was displeased with his son, you know it was his mama's fault. And whether you are co-parenting with the narcissist as a biological parent, or you are a step-parent, you can trust and believe they are going to triangulate you with that child. Hopefully, if you're watching this, you are the non-narcissistic parent, and if so, no matter how mean, how nasty, and how terrible that narcissist is, at least in front of your child, try to set a good example for them. I know it's hard, but no matter what, especially if the child is really young, don't talk bad about the other parent to the child. Look, as they get older, they figure it out on their own. I watched this with my own stepson. He figured it out. So just um, be there for your kids and spend that time with them. And keep all that nasty stuff away from them. They don't need it.